Uh, I'm not going to solve the answer for you yet. However, let me just say two things. Number one, uh, both of the people who I've talked to so far <laughs> have said, here's my answer. Kind of think it's wrong, which is interesting, isn't it? That we can arrive at something and still look at it and think, mm, not convinced, okay? Um, one of the reasons why you're looking at it and thinking, uh, I don't, I'm doubtful, is because the numbers don't look very nice, do they? They don't seem to, you, you saw this one? This one was like, whoa, man, clearly designed by a maths teacher. Everything just kind of fell out really nicely, okay? Whereas this one doesn't, okay? I'm gonna push on this question. I want you to give me a reason why, no working done, you can look at this question and know something's going to be messy. There aren't going to be neat numbers, there's going to be messy numbers. Suggestion. Okay, so remember I said, quadratic formula, then I said grouping, right? When you have a look at this, you're clearly going to have to go for a formula here, right? Now, why is it though? How can you know? No working required. The formula is where you're going to have to go. Yeah. Because the constant is a prime number. Seven. Seven's a jerk. Yeah. Uh, seven, did you know, most common number for being asked, what's your favorite number? What's your favorite number? A huge proportion of people say seven, okay? People like it, but it's prime, okay? Now, why is it a problem that it's a prime in this question? Five's prime as well. Uh, Eleven's prime as well. Why didn't they cause any problems? Because, say for the 11, right? What did we do with that 11? What did your brain do with the 11? It added numbers. It added numbers to give 11. You can add numbers to give whatever you want. Primes, composites, no big deal. But you were doing something different with this number, weren't you? What did you do with the 24? You were looking for factors, and seven doesn't have very many of them. Not whole ones, anyway, okay? So you know you gotta go to the quadratic formula, the fact that you see something weird like that should actually make you feel comfortable that your answer is probably going to turn out a little messy. Okay? Now, most of you have already gone ahead and you've taken this thing and you've gotten a pair of numbers at the end. What pair of numbers have you got? Negative 5? Plus or minus? Plus or minus what? Oh, no. uh, 53? No, they won't Divided by? It sure does look like we've done something wrong, doesn't it, okay? But you've done it right, that's what you get out if you put this into the quadratic formula. So am I done? Is, is that the answer? Okay, so, so the first thing I've noticed is well, that's, that's not an answer, for starters, it's two answers. Uh, so it's actually this and this. Okay, so at least I can see that there's two numbers. Is that the answer? Now remember, I said when I wrote down this heading, what does factorization mean? It means you've given me something and I want you to write it as a product of two different things. Yeah, so for example, here's a something, write it as a product of two different things, or, or three different things, right? Product, product, product. Is this a product? No. And if you made it a product, what would that be? Would that give you the thing you started with? Kind of missing an important ingredient, right? Like, like say X's, right? Now we have not, we have not factorized at all. What have you done? Hmm. Now that's interesting because I don't know anything about the value of X. Do you remember what the very first starter review question I gave you was? I gave you like an expression, right? What was it? Like 3a, something like this? I don't know, I can't even remember. Something like that, right? What's the value of a? And the answer is whatever you want it to be, okay? And I chose like negative 5 or something like that, okay? That doesn't have a value, it can be anything. X doesn't have a value, so what is this? Ah, ah, can you say that again, Cheyenne? Just so everyone can hear. Okay, so this thing here, see this? This is not an equation, right? What is it? It's an expression. 
It's not an equation because it's not equal to anything. Right? Now what you've all done is you have solved this equation. you solved this equation, and that's useful. I'm going to use these numbers in a second. Have you factorized? No, you haven't done anything to do with factorizing, right? Okay, so being that this is not what we want, how am I going to use these numbers? Yeah? Wait, do you have to use those numbers? Well, <laughs> I mean, you, you don't have to, but if you want the right answer, we're probably going to have to. Hmm. Okay, let's pause. Let's rewind on a second. Uh, come back to this guy. Come back to this guy. No one used the quadratic formula for this. And good call. You didn't need to. Okay. But if you had, what would the answers have been? For this one. Oh, sorry. For this one. Yeah, for this one. Mm, that's interesting. Not the answers, but the fact that we're not sure, okay? The answers are 4 and 9. The answers are 4 and 9 because using the quadratic formula and factorizing are two ways of getting two answers, right? That's one of the reasons why we do this, okay? So that if this equals 0, that means that this equals 0 is 2, so 4 or 9 will work, okay? So the quadratic formula would have given us that. So if you'd accidentally done the quadratic formula and then you'd realize, oops, I didn't need to do that, but fine, you finished it off and you got that, how would you turn that into this? What have you done? It's, uh, well, the factorization is x, take away one of your solutions, times x, take away your other solution. That's it, that's the factorization. So let's write it. This messy guy here is equal to x, take away that. That's a lot of negatives. If I'm doing it right in my head, I think you'll end up with that. Do you agree? What do you think? Yeah? Convinced? Sort of? Okay, there's one half. There's one of the factors. Where is the other factor? What is it? It's going to be x take away the other solution, right? Which is this guy. Watch out for the signs. I think it's this. Do you agree? It's a pretty awkward number. I think it's also prime. Um, what do you think? Are you convinced? Now I'm just going to leave it there for now. I, I'm not actually really worried if those are the correct numbers or not. What I'm really interested in is do you factorize? A lot of you got here and then were like, I don't know what to do, which suggests to me you have practiced a lot of these simple things, okay? But you didn't really know what this was because that leads you somewhere else, okay? Welcome to year 11. We don't treat you like babies anymore. Get used to meeting things like this, okay?